the legendary Nina Hartley. Good to see you again. Thank you, thank you, and thank you for all you people out there watching Concrete Music TV. We're here at uh, 2017 Exotica Convention in Edison, New Jersey. Last day of the show, next year, be here or be square. But apparently I'm supposed to talk today about the one, the only, the much missed Tupac. It's hard to believe two things. One, that it's been 20 years since he died. That just blows my mind. And two, that he was only 25 years old when he died. That also blew my mind. Because he had, he had, I, before I worked for him in the uh, video for How Do You Like It, I knew about him, but I didn't listen to the music. I'm a jazz fan. I didn't understand rap very much because white girl. Um, but when I worked with him, I got a whole new appreciation for him as a person. He was soulful. He was so smart. And he was so artistic. And I didn't know enough about his history, but I could sense that in his mind, he was beginning to turn away from the gangster part of music into the other creative aspect of his life. I could see that he was just ready to put the, set that aside and move on to what was next in his life. And they didn't get to do that. He really had an eye for style. He knew what he wanted. The director was one of the scenes was having difficulty figuring out how to handle people. And Tupac came in and said, you here, you there, call as can be. Just do. You, you, you. And the scene went beautifully. So if he had lived, he was going to become an amazing director. Like, like Spike Lee. I, I would have been, it's such a loss. So nobody from the company asked you, oh yeah, can you give us some insight about what you know about Tupac Tupac? Oh no, the biopic, I, I would say a small part of his existence, the biopic never came near me. It's okay. Um, so no, no one from the company came to see me, but in, in Tupac's life, I, in, in, I was such a small part of it. He was a true fan though. He sought me out for the movie. And I really appreciate it. He said, you know, I have you on my shelf next to the Godfather. I was like, oh my God. Uh, <laughs> also, I appreciate, about his, I appreciate his mother was a Black Panther. I grew up in Berkeley. I knew about the Panthers growing up. But I loved it. I, I appreciate the political aspect of his um, intellectual ability. So we didn't get to talk much because only a three-day shoot. But I, I, I miss having had all those amazing conversations we're going to have about politics. And I, oh my God. Uh, Where can we find you on social media? On Twitter, I'm Nina Land. Um, I'm barely on Instagram, but it's Miss underscore Nina underscore Hartley. Um, I occasionally do, um, I occasionally do ver adult verified call, and I am on Sex Panther, and I'll be activating that account soon. And I see on your table, Safe Sex Kiss is live. Yes. Please explain that. Uh, safe Sex Kiss, I take a sheet of condoms in latex, very stretchy. I sit you in this chair, and my girl sets the timer. And um, if you want, have your cell phone, you can videotape it as well. And I place the latex over your mouth and cradle your face. And we make, we make out for a minute, real make out. But it's like, it's like a mouth condom. Well, always a pleasure to see you. Congratulations, and thank you. We'll see you at the next convention. I'll be here. Thank you so much.